when we're out doing our thing, kayaking, paddleboarding, snorkeling, what have you, it's usually during the day, and that's when your sharks are asleep. So when we snorkel over them, they're not really going to react because they're passed out, they're asleep. And so just to kind of put you in their shoes with their fins, I guess, for a second here, if you were having a nice nap on your living room couch, and it was a nice nap, and you woke up to some stranger like petting your head, that'd be a little unnerving, right? So you would, you would defend yourself, sharks do the same thing. But if you give them their space, they will give you yours. And that's how sharks go. That's how all sharks go. Now let's talk a little bit, though, about honest to goodness, unprovoked, fatal shark attacks. So your chances of being fatally attacked by an unprovoked shark are one in over three and a half million, okay? So if you live to the age of 80, here are some things that are more likely to happen. You ready? You are more likely to get struck by lightning, have a coconut fall and hit you on the coconut, win the lottery, get a royal flush in poker. You're more likely to uh, get called on down for the prices, right? Date a supermodel, marry a millionaire. You're more likely to um, have a vending machine fall and squish you. How often do we hear that in the news? Uh, and then, oh, here's a scary one. Uh, you're more likely to be audited by the IRS than you are to be fatally attacked by a shark. So, all I'm saying is, W2 is anyone? Thank you.